Multi-level data allows us to estimate four different effects. The within effect, the between effect, the contextual effect and the population average effect. In this video I will show with an example what these effects actually are and hopefully the video clarifies the meaning of these different effects. So let's take a look at the example. We have two teams here, team one and team two, and they both have five team members that all have intelligence of 100 and performance of 50%. So there is no uh, within team variation in performance or in intelligence. So the average performance is 50% and average intelligence is 100% in both teams. Now, what will happen when we add one smart person to team number two and take one normal person away from that team. This happens. We can see that the smart person works better, his or her performance is better than the average people, but also the performance of the average people increased when the smart person came to the team. For example, this kind of effect would happen if the smart person can provide leadership for the team and that leadership will make these uh, other people in the team work better. So we have these two effects now. The within effect in this case is the individual's intelligence effect on the individual's performance. So this person is performing better because he or she is more intelligent than the other people. But there's also the contextual effect. So the contextual effect is the smart individual's impact on the performance by others, for example, by enabling better coordination or providing leadership. So when we add a smart person to the team, then the performance of everyone else increases as well. And this is the contextual effect. So it is the effect of one's intelligence on everyone else in the team. And of course, everyone else includes the smart person. So uh, if we were to change some of these people, uh, to uh, normal people, then uh, the smart person's performance will go down. So the individual's performance is the sum of uh, the, the within effect and the between uh, contextual effect and the contextual effect also affects other members in the team. The between effect is simply whatever is the difference in average performance on a team level as a function of average intelligence on a team level, like so. So how much did the team performance increase when the average intelligence of a team increase. So that is the between effect. So uh, within effect and contextual effect basically correspond to two causal mechanisms. How much better I am because I'm intelligence or some other attribute and how much my attribute has an effect on the others or everyone in the team. And then the between effect is simply some of these two causal effects. So to, to show some numbers, we saw that the intelligence uh, difference for the person num number one is a uh, normal person 100, smart person 120. So it's 20 points and plus four points to the average because we had five members in the team. Change in performance is the contextual effect that is 10 percentage points. So these, everyone became 10 percentage points better because we introduced a smart person to the team and uh, then one unit of average intelligence increase increases average performance by two and a half percentage points. So that's the actual the um, contextual effect. The within effect for this person is a uh, change in performance within. So the person was replaced uh, with a person so this, this person was replaced with a person who is 20 points more intelligent and uh, there is uh, that much difference. So uh, 20 points increase resulted in 20 points increase in intelligence here. So we got one person this points difference per point of intelligence. And if we take a look at the change in performance, the between effect, the change was 14%. So 64 compared to 50%. And uh, the change in explanatory variable intelligence was four points on average. So 14 divided by four is three and a half percent, which is the sum of the within and between effect. So that's the between effect. When you know the within effect and you know the between effect, you can calculate the contextual effect. If you know contextual effect, you know between effect, you can calculate the within effect. So always when you know two of these, the third can be calculated because they always are uh, 
they're governed by this equation here. Now this shows the difference between the between effect, the within effect and the contextual effect. How about the population average effect? So population average effect tells us basically what is the expected performance of an individual given his or her intelligence and we get the population average effect by running a regression analysis through, through the data. So we have intelligence varies between 100 that's nine people and 120 one person and then performance varies and the regression gives us 1.27 percentage points and uh, what does that quantify? So that's not the within effect, that's not the between effect and that's not the contextual effect. So the increase is, is 1.27278 and uh, the within effect was one percent points, between effect was three and a half, contextual effect was two and a half and this is this is none of them. So so how do we actually get that? Well we can start thinking about this uh, through different scenarios. So what if there was no between group variation in intelligence. So all the groups are equal intelligence on average. Then uh, the contextual effect really wouldn't have any effect. So the contextual effect on everybody would be the same and then uh, the how well the individual is performing that we pick randomly only depends on that person's intelligence but not on which team that person is because all teams are equally equally well off with regard to intelligence. And uh, if there is no variation between groups, population average effect equals the within effect. In the other case, if there is no within group variation, so all every member in every team has the same intelligence, but the intelligence levels between the teams can vary. So in that case, we would say that the interclass correlation which quantifies the between group variation is one and in that case if we know your group average then we will know your performance. So the between effect is equal to the population average effect. How about in between? Well it can be proven and for Snyder's chapter here proves that uh, the population average effect is the, the within effect multiplied by intra-class correlation of the explanatory variable and the regression coefficient for the contextual effect. So when the interclass correlation is zero, then we simply have the within effect. When the interclass correlation is one, then we have the between effect. And we can verify the calculation just by calculating the interclass correlation. It is sum of squares between divided by sum of squares total. So how much variation of the uh, of intelligence can be attributed to the group membership? That's that's what ICC tells us, and it is uh, about 11 percent and we multiply the regression coefficient or plug into the formula for ICC uh, for population average effect and we get 1.278 which is what we got from regression analysis. So this demonstrates the population average effect and we are really interested in understanding uh, uh, the, the effect of, of these variation between groups. Instead we want to have regression coefficients that generalize across conditions and do not depend on how the explanatory variables vary. And for that reason the population average effect is normally not the effect that we're after and some sources say that this is uh, un uninterpretable as a causal effect. So if you want to uh, estimate a causal effect of x on y you basically need to be looking at the within effect, the contextual effect or the between effect depending on, on what level of, of uh, variation you want to study. So do you want to study the effect of average intelligence of a team on average performance or are you looking at more what happens inside the team?